Oh yes, I'm back here again, aren't I? Goodness, I'd completely forgotten. Sorry, I was expecting to have a cutscene or something like we normally do at the beginning of a chapter. Never mind. Right then, good evening ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a bit more of the old... Unpleasantness that lurks inside. I like that music. Hmm. I can't identify any of the instruments that are being used to create it, but I do like it. Right then. Hopefully this week will be a little quieter than last week. I apologise for all of the horrible, um... Horrible noise corruptions that we had to deal with last time. That's not the light button. That is the light button. Can I get through this door? Probably not. I can hear a piddling noise coming from the other side, which is less than optimal. Hello. Is there anyone in here? Oh, there is! Are you dead? Somehow I doubt it. I do notice that you have the same logo on your chest as the hospital, implying that we have perhaps made our way back. Can I have these? No. No, I can't. Get this has become... Ming, a bit of a problem. Hello. Who are you? Oh, goodness, she up and left. Turns out I should have burned her when I had the chance. How did she get out the door without me noticing? I know I'm stupid, but I don't think I was this, this stupid. Again with the squelchy noises. Oh, dear. Oh, good. If I hadn't really got a disease from all the blood that was dripping on me, I'm now going to get someone's cough. Wonderful. One of the things that uh, I was reminded of about this game while editing the last episode is just how seemingly random it can get at times when it just decides, you know what, we're just going to bring Leslie back all of a sudden. And you know what, now here's a doctor with a very itchy brain. What happens next? Oh, what happens next is that there's a big crazy spider lady. Oh yes, and now you're falling 150 feet. And now there's this, whoever this is. Hi, friend. That is there to lure me forwards because you're dangerous. What do I want to use? Um... Yeah. I think I want to use this. What the hell? Alright, that's a new one. Maybe I'm the patient. Maybe I'm the patient around here. Alright then, so that was a lure, but not to what I thought it was going to be luring me towards. Curious. Very curious. What the hell is that plugged into? There doesn't seem to be a cable coming off it. Right, never mind. I apologise, my thoughts are a bit too domestic, aren't they? Right then. Yes, this game can be very random at times. That's one of the wonderful things about it, because uh, you never quite know what spook you're going to be presented with next. I don't believe I can read any of these things. I can just hear a growling noise. Hello? Who is growling at me? Nobody, seemingly. Depressing to think that patients would spend most of their lives in a room like this. Rather depressing in... Oh, no. Are you another invisible one? I hate you invisible people. Okay, right, here we go. Uh, now, hang on, wait, I need another puddle, I need another puddle, I need another puddle! <laughs> I never wanted a puddle before, but now I... Now I, I really do want one. Did he move that out of the way? Show yourself, you coward! Get the honest like hunting a bloody Jemadar! Oh, for goodness sake, man, where are you? You're busy giving me a kiss which I haven't consented to. Would you die, man? And permanently mined. I hate those bloody invisible creatures. <laughs> it's because ammunition conservation is a very vital part of all these games, and when a man's invisible, it becomes rather difficult to conserve your ammunition carefully. Oh good. This is the room where we keep the crazy people. 
Oh dear, dare I sit? Can I park my bum? This looks more like an electric chair than anything else. Oh gosh, I don't like this. Which begs the question why I'm still here. It, it's bloody handprints on the floor there. Why, why, were they, why were they crawling on all fours? I don't know, I should probably reload this. Oh, we did reload it. Goodness, that was competent of me. That's, uh, that's bizarrely competent of me. Hmm. I'm suspicious. My brain usually doesn't operate this well. But, uh, never mind. I suppose we shouldn't complain. Right. Who is this important-looking person? I have no idea. I do not recognise that portrait at all. Can't even really place the era. It's like slightly after Revolutionary War era. Goodness! It's a bottle the size of my thigh. Right. There's not going to be anything pleasant in this room, is there? We're not going to find like a pool table and a drinks dispenser. We're going to find like something. To down. Something or someone horrible. Yes, get down with the groove. Or whatever the hell it is that people say these days, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't pay much attention. To be honest with you, when, when, when people in the streets talk, I just tend to walk faster. Right then, I guess there's nothing to do but jump. Oh, there's a mouse. Her, huh, Mr. Mouse. Can I jump? Oh, you had a mouse friend. That's nice. Some more bullets that I can't take. Really should have been using my pistol earlier now. What in the name of hell is that? It's a rat carrying a statue that has a key in it. Because, naturally. And, and this... This little spawn of Satan right here, with its googly green eye... <laughs> Kitty heart. <laughs> oh dear. Can I... Oh no, I can't know until I reload anyway. Um, right, Kitty heart. I don't know. Oh right, here's the... Here's the spawn's twin friend. Uh, matches. How do I get access to these? With the use of violence. Excellent. You'd think I'd have figured that out by now, given uh, what the rest of this game has entailed. I keep forgetting all the buttons. Let's turn the light off and be spooky. I mean, be sneaky. Alright then. Let's, um... Oh, huzzah, a checkpoint. This seems oddly familiar, actually. I feel like this corridor, with this wheelchair and this IV bag, and this little door. I feel like these are shown in like the loading screen. Or like as the game is starting up. Oh. Right, this time I have a very simple solution to this problem. You uh, my simple solution to this problem is to pull out all the wrong weapons. Now he's got to come through this door. And when he does, I'm good. This is becoming a problem. Do you want to do you want some lead in your ass? Oh, would you freaking die, man? Goodness sake. The problem is it's dark in that doorway and I can't... There we go. There we go. There we freaking go. Taking no chances. I get the distinct impression when they drop the brains that, um, that that's your sort of signal. That they are definitely dead. And you don't need to burn them, but I'm going to all the same. Locked. Need to find a key card. What did I swipe in there in order to make it deny me access? What did you pull out like a credit card or something? <laughs> right, do I have a um I, I cannot remember all the controls to save my life. This is problem with playing games a week apart. Um one of the many problems. Right, just heal myself up a little bit. See if we can find anyone else amongst all of the darkness. Sorry, I thought OBS was doing something screwy, but no more so than usual. No, I can't immediately see any murderers. Which makes a lovely change. Can you hear something? It stopped now, but it sounded like. Imagine somebody bursting a um, a pimple combined with the sound of a cat purring and mixing a little demon. It kind of sounded a bit like that. 
There's literally nothing here to be scared of. And yet I'm scared. It's the thing with invisible enemies. Oh, thank you, shotgun shells. How... I stand corrected. Shotgun shell. I do apologise. I need to get my uh, pluralizations in the correct places. If there's nobody here, there's definitely going to be someone in here when I come back. Because I'm going to go through this door, get the keycard, come back, and there's going to be someone waiting for me. At least that's... Oh, kitty. I, ah, now you've got to come through. Now you've got to open the door yourself. I think. Yeah, here we go. I wish there was some way to sort of strike them away before they did that. Maybe there is. Maybe if I just bash about a lot, I'll be alright. No, 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 I'm not alright. Get, get your tentacles away from me, you ood cosplaying twit. Right, I seem to have a surplus of matches, so I'm just going to make good and frequent use of them. Right, if you don't mind, because I'm so much of a big brave boy, I'm just going to run the hell away, basically, and go back and get those bullets that I left behind wherever the hell I left them. Um, I did leave some bullets back here, didn't I? I'm not going crazy. That, 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 that is not a thing that I did, it would seem. Maybe that was someplace else. Oh, good. It seems the visitor has become the patient. Oh, kitty. <laughs> it almost seems like it's a disadvantage to pick up the items that you have in the, um, in the safe place. Because then you're just not able to pick up other stuff. Right, any more? Anyone else like some lead implanted up their buttocks? More than happy to do it. In return for significantly less kisses than you've been giving me. Modern gardening, as opposed to ancient gardening, which was completely different. Apart from the fact that it wasn't. What's with these curtains? These curtains were there in that uh, room with the, uh, in the, with the, with the electric chair. Hmm. Again, nothing scary going on, but I still feel a little disturbed. Which I guess is always the sign of a good game. I should probably use another healing item thinking about it because I don't have much health at the moment. Uh, I really need to upgrade those things. Right. Please be more than one. Alright, that is more than one, but that's the absolute minimum that, that, that was more than one that you could have given me, but I'm appreciative nonetheless. Now he just looks dead. He doesn't look dead and and ill. Let me put it that way. Could you? What the hell is that? Oh, it's a plant. Could you please remain dead? Hospital keycard. Yes. It appears to have the blood of the previous owner on it, as opposed to the blood of I don't know, Archduke Ferdinand. Um. Anything else of importance or consequence? Many newspapers about the cinema. Very exciting, which actually was a thing which existed back in 2014 as opposed to now, which seems to be a bit more dead. Do you think I can read any of these? I can still hear strange noises. And this music won't let up either, right? And music is a good indicator of whether something is about to go down in a video game. well-lit environment, this wouldn't be simple. Problem is, is to see that there is someone there. There is someone there! There's someone right there! The problem is, is when you shoot them, they then dart off to the side. Go on, bump into the chair. Bump into the chair. There we go. 
I saw that. I didn't see where you went afterwards, but I saw that. Kitty, oh, Jim, move your bum! Move your bum, detective! Detect a better place to be standing! And relocate your resources there. Post haste. I cannot. I've also just realised I haven't got any bullets in this darn thing. If you if you stop for a little breather, mate, we're gonna have a bit of a problem here. Ah, walking through a puddle. It will be the death of you. You're not dead. Okay, fine. You may you, you may be dead. Kitty aunt, man alive. All right. Uh, let me reload this for all the freaking good it will do. I suppose one shell is better than none. What have I got here in terms of this? Uh, I've got a couple of standard bolts. All right, let's keep those out for the time being, I think. The thing is, is these do a lot of damage, particularly since I upgraded them. But um, if they miss, then that's a massive waste. But if they hit, that's a massive boon. Just wish you could have picked them up again afterwards. That would be cool. A bit like you can pick up arrows in Skyrim. Right. Should we um should we just leave everything in this place to its own devices and get the hell out of it? What the hell was that I just saw? Oh, it was a cardboard box. It's alright, Philip, calm down. It's just a cardboard box with with possibly a lot of dead remnants of human beings in it. Which is just positively charming. Okay, good. If it's just something shutting behind me, then that's fine. Right. I can deal with not being able to go back. I can't deal with um, with everything else this game wants me to deal with. Ah <laughs> uh, dear, this really is personifying how different the experience is when you're playing playing a game compared to when you're watching a game. There really is no substitute, which is interesting because when I was watching games on YouTube, I always thought uh, I was quite resistant to spooks because I never found anything that spooky, but. Um, in the end, you just sort of remember that your brain is cognizant of the fact that you're not the one playing the game. You're just watching a video of someone else play a game, so there's really not all that much to be scared of. But when you're actually playing the game yourself, then the onus is on yourself to, um, to not bollock it up, basically. Hello? To the sanitarium uh, prison cell. Wonderful. Now what? I guess I better make myself a little home here. I can count the hexagons on the floor. And it irritates me that they're not all exactly the same size. There's a little strip of slightly shorter ones. Oh, there's a little gap. There's a little hole I can peek through. I've heard of doctors working long hours, but working after you're dead is a, is, a, is a whole new level of dedication to the job, my friend. Alrighty then. Time seems to go pretty quickly in this game, I don't know why. Alright, I spy some goop. Oh gosh. Must I? Must I examine this? Oh, giddy, let's listen to this, give my voice a rest for a second. Assimilation of subject's consciousness. Initial symptoms, sharp pain and brainstem that's centered on insertion point. Followed by gradual onset of hemorrhaging as capillaries dilate. Over time, degradation of the ego generates strong suicidal tendencies. They lose who they are and become clay, completely reshapable in my image. But not me. Something keeps me from staying completely within. That's interesting. So the ego beyond just being, you know, a person's ego, is um, sort of one of... It was a, a theory that Freud had in terms of, like, the construction of the personality. There was, like, three parts to it. There was the ego, the superego, and the id, I think they were called. Um, I can't remember what the individual components did. I know one of them was involved in, like, moral decisions, one of them was, like, base desires, and the third one was, like, trying to balance these two things. I can't quite remember how it all worked, however. All right. This, which looks like a, a, a cell, uh, a, a, a cell, a nerve. I'm not sure. And now that's a cell with a nerve attached, isn't it? I don't know which one I'm supposed to um, activate. Can I get any clues? 
Well, there's the symbol, the neuron. Yes, that's the word I was looking for, not nerve. Maybe it's that one. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong if I zap the wrong part of this man? Um, I suppose you press this button. I'm gonna guess that was the wrong decision. Well, I mean, the door's opened, which is good, but maybe the door is just open so they can fire me, which is less than optimal. Oh, God. Oh, no, we can't just do it again. Oh, good. We're going for a Da Vinci thing, but if Da Vinci was some sort of, um, uh, sadist. Some nice, charming music that I do recognize. Well, we had some nice, charming music that I recognised from somewhere. Are you alive? Is that why there's noises coming out of you? I do wish I could see if you were moving. I don't think he is. Alright, um... Oh, there's holes in the floor. Oh, goodness, I'm racking my brain to try to remember how this works. So, is it that if I get the wrong one, I get stabbed, and if I get the right one, he gets stabbed? Is that the idea? What have we got here? We've got a sunflower and some sort of daisy looking thing. Alright. What do we have here? You've got the sunflower being looked at by this skull with a brain in it. Is the daisy here? Not that I see. That's a horse. That's a centaur. That's a centaur medusa. Goodness. What a combination. Um... Yeah, if I had to guess, I would say it's the sunflower. This is the bit where everything goes wrong. <laughs> I shouldn't... Gideon, I shouldn't be grateful that that's the thing that's happened. But for some silly reason, I am. Right, is there any treasure here or anything? There's some bird cages. And if, um... Higgs Village taught me anything, is that that means there's a bunch of crazies living here. Not sure what to take from these images. Not sure at all. Oh good, bricks. I wouldn't really keep bricks in a prison cell if I were you. They seem a bit too useful for bludgeoning people. Well, bludgeoning oneself, I suppose. Can I break these? Huzzah! I can! Good. I'm going to bash something I can actually frickin' see. Rather than something I can usually never see. What are these symbols again? I don't know the meaning of this symbol. Alright. That looks like an old, old-fashioned movie camera there. And someone trying to tie up some cogs to someone's brain. Wouldn't really advise doing that if I were you. What's this? Oh, a note. Underground facility, note. He lies! And to his own son, his own flesh and blood. It is outrageous. Gone to a better place, that hypocrite, that sanctimonious fool. What big words. I know the truth. I know him better than he knows himself. He is trying to punish me again. He always resented our closeness. He thinks he can use it against me. Does he take me for a fool? Laura is not dead. Right. Well, I think she's about to be. That is if I don't screw this up again, which is entirely plausible. Right. What different keys do we have? We have a cog with three outer cogs, and a cog with four outer cogs. I did notice a cog here. There's one with three. I'm not seeing one with four. So let's hope they're not changing the pattern and go for the three one. Yep. I reckon Laura's dead now. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Can I holster my weapon in any way? Like, you know, sort of put it away, as it were. Um, not with any button that I know. <laughs> but uh, I should look at the controls later and see if... See if I can figure that out. Well, someone's a bit cross that I've just murdered three of their friends, and I can't say I wholeheartedly blame them. Oh, dear, dear, are those cables or scratch marks? I don't know, but I suppose there's nothing to do. 
butt soldier on. I spy a big load of goop. Brain goop. Or monster energy, or whatever it is. I seem to have generated about 12 different names for them. Would you get your chin out of the way? Oh. Hello, friend. Long time no see. Joseph. Why are you having a bath in milk? You're not Cleopatra. You don't know what that does, mate. That might zap him. Ew. Thank God you're okay. Is he? He's been drowned in milk. But it's definitely not okay. You brought me here. At least he's got a gun. Let's hope his aim is better than mine. What? Oh, does not consume healing items. Thank goodness for that. I've still got a little fight left in me. I shall heal you with the power of my eyes. I look deeply into your soul. You feel yourself feeling much better. Kitty. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh man, I was with the brains in the jaws. I'm glad that it doesn't consume my healing items, because goodness knows I need them. But at the same time, you know, at the same time I'm a little confused. Right then, out of here fast. yes, me and Joseph are going to go on a little adventure. More puddles, which means those probably need to be used for the detecting of invisible gooses. What? Burn? Oh, this is oil. Oh, right, that's something completely different. If there's anyone there, there's not much point in being stealthy, mate, because they can kind of see my fat ass that's in the way. But, you know, what do I know? I can hear somebody. Oh, good. Keep your eyes good. Oh, good. Keep your eyes open. For what? They're clearly already here. But never mind. I'm amazed that hit. I've also realised I mustn't walk while I'm aiming, because uh, my aim gets a lot worse when I'm walking. Maybe I should use my explosive thing. This is not my explosive thing. This is. Goodness, that was effective. Your gun doesn't seem to be, however, compadre of mine. Mind you, mine isn't brilliant either. Let's just finish you off. Because I'm not convinced. Right, yay bullets. Yay, additional bullets. Excellent. Right then. Good. I think the uh, maiden voyage of our um, partnership has been a success. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right. Now, I find myself wondering whether he's going to be more useful as a combatant or more useful as bait. But we shall see. We shall see what uh, time brings. I don't know what time is brought, but what it's certainly taken away all the bodies. Which is uh, nice that I don't have to look at their ugly, buggly faces. But um, also not nice because it makes me think that they're still alive and have all wandered away. Where, um, where are we going exactly? <laughs> I have no idea. I also don't know where my friend has gone. I feel a little abandoned. Maybe got a little cross in me saying mean things about him. Oh, there you are. Good to see you again. Right. Good to know you have not fallen by the proverbial wayside. Hello. I don't know what to say, frankly. Um, other than... Other than I feel this room involves a lot of pain. Ah oh, yes, good. More monster, more monster energy. Good, 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 good. What's that? Is that a record player? Is that what that is? I know it can't be a record player, surely. 
I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just a piece of like audio equipment or something. For the sake of like recording notes, um, I don't know. But I'm just gonna pretend like this kid is not gonna come to life. <laughs> he's one of the. <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't laugh, but I don't know. I'm just reminded of a pinata. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, okay, we've checked that room. Everything's all A OK -okay in there. So we could go down there, or we could go back uh, across that oil. I feel like we should check. Check this way first, because I feel like this way is more like to just be a dead end that has some treasure in it. So let's see what we can find in here if we enter most graciously. Yes, here we are. That's not really what I want you to do, but I'm, 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 I'm glad for the enthusiasm, if nothing else. Let's see, some more shells, excellent. What else? Nothing. And some more monster energy, good. You can't really sort of move in, in, in like very slight increments in this game. You can sort of move quite a bit, or not move at all. Reminds me of that bit of West of Loathing with the uh, locker and the skeleton. But never mind. Right, would you, would you open the thing? Thank you. Right. <laughs> Alright, good. Okay. Let's get to the yard. You scared me. Don't do that. And also, don't point your gun at me. Right. We are, we are slowly ironing out the kinks of this little partnership. And we shall, um... We shall no doubt be reaping the benefits very shortly. Okay. Let's just take a moment and relax. Take a deep breath and still feel really curious about what the hell these little doors are. Are these for little elves to uh, traverse the hospital more efficiently? I don't know. Oh, get the arm. And I thought solving the bomb puzzles was going to be tough. This looks pretty sophisticated. Why would they put a bomb like this? Do you think we can get past it? Stand back. Let me see if I can disarm it. Do I have to protect you? Why is the litter box still here? I specifically asked for the litter box to not be here. I can't draw a weapon. Okay. I thought I was going to have to protect him while some uh, demons came down the stairs. But, uh... No such situation materialized. Now what? Oh, now what a migraine. That I thought it was something electronic. Oh, goodness. That's what you get for not having a proper skincare routine. I've heard about that thing where when people take their glasses off, apparently they become more Joseph, attractive. After Connolly, I thought, I don't know what came over me. I've never heard of someone taking their glasses off and suddenly uh, curing their skin condition. Maybe that worked for me. Somehow I doubt it. Look, let's just get out of here. There's something wrong with this place. Yeah. <laughs> what, and all the zombies didn't tip you after that fact? All right then. Oh, I can talk. I may have discussions. What can we discuss? I'm fine. No need to worry. Ah, no worries. Nothing. Nothing would seem to be the long and the short of it. Nothing in the bathtubs? No. No one bathing in monster energy. Oh, well. That's a shame. But I guess I can learn to live with the unending disappointment. You coming? You going to follow me? I'm not sure you're quite well enough to come up a ladder like this, but um. I also find myself questioning why anyone would have a ladder system like this in a hospital. It surely doesn't seem a very efficient way of traversing a um, an establishment of healthcare. You coming? I can hear something that sounds a little bit like someone coming up the staircase. So we're just going to assume that everything's fine and that there's absolutely nothing to worry about. I shall have this. And I shall have 
these. And also this, if I can carry any, which I probably can't. No, I can. I can carry all of them. That's probably the first time it's ever been the case. Oh, there's another map piece. Excellent. Of a little bridge, I think. We need That's to move. nice. We do, yes. Um, I just want to have a quick look in here. I don't know as I'm going to use this. I'm just wondering if there's like a journal, because there sometimes is here. But it doesn't seem to be. Um, just, just, we'll, we won't hang about any longer than necessary, but we will quickly just have a, um, quickly just have a little wonder. I knew it. You knew what? That you turn up here again? I mean, in the sense that I haven't met a zombie in here, yes. Um, what did he mean when he said he knew it? He knew that he'd turn up here? Yes, I knew that as well, because we've been here like six or seven times before, but never mind. Um, let's have some more shells, and let's open this one. Huzzah, that's actually exactly what I wanted. Good, 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 because that'll let me do a couple more upgrades. Anything else I can take? Some more pistol bullets, and, and I can't take any of those. Okay, then. Uh, what I should do, actually, is I should build some uh, shots for this thing. What do I want? I want to make this one, please. There we go. And now I want to take that out and load it up. That's not what I want you to load up, but never mind. Um, that one will do. Right then. Let's quickly um, drill some more weird stuff into our face. And then we can go and f see what seemed to be sunshine, which would probably be the first time we've seen it in this game, so that'd be nice. Um, yeah, we could get that. I'd say, or try to be a bit quick about this. Get that, I say. Um, boost the extra little criticals. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade the damage on that as well, I think. And um, instead of killing an enemy with a headshot. Okay, so that is dependent on you having a headshot. Um, stock. Let's have. Uh, no, not not the, not the bolts. I don't think I need more bolts. I want to upgrade the uh, syringes. Can I do that, please? Yes. There we go. Sorry, there's just a moment's suspicious pause there, but um, turned out the pause were perfectly innocent. Nothing to be concerned about. Any uh, newspapers or notices or uh, anything else I should be aware of? Any calls, Sarah? No. All right then. Back to Joseph and whatever the hell it is we're doing next. Man alive. Maybe the reason I'm doing so badly at this game is because I keep breaking all the mirrors. Perhaps that's what's going on. Right. I have returned. I just needed to study my gorgeous features for a few more minutes. Let's see what we have here. A church, possibly, judging by that little symbol. And somebody taking an impractical bath. Most people get undressed from doing that, before Jimmy. doing that. Get me out of this thing! Wait a minute. It's another trap. Look. Huh? Hello. Hello, Granny. Brought your cake cutting knife with you, I see. It's much more elaborate. Are you wearing a gun? Why don't you shoot the glass? Maybe it's bullet Joseph, resistant graph. Right? Yeah, oh, bullet fine. resistance graph. <laughs> I'm coming, give me a minute. Can I can I do like a sneaky kill on, on somebody? Can I do a sneaky kill on you? No, no, for some bizarre reason I can't. I also can't hit anybody. Right. There we are. I'm just kidding. Idiot. To put that away, whatever the hell that is. Um, stop dancing, woman. Nobody has requested such things. There we are. Let's get that sorted out. I think they're already here, actually. But you know, what do I know? Let's just burn you. Because I'm not convinced either of you are dead. There we are. Idiot. Yeah, there are quite a few more than there are of us. I'll say that for sure. Idiot. Oh, that's a freaky-looking face you once had. I shot most of it off. Kitty on oh, my face. You could have helped Fred. Oh no, that's not that's not Joseph, that's a baddie. <laughs> I need to reload this thing. Oh you can reload on the move, that's wonderful. Um 
you can, there we are, sort of clamp up a bit. Let's burn you. Ha ha! I have burned all three of you at once. I am being most efficient with my time. And I can't use the shotgun because I'll hit Joseph. Oh, I'm actually supposed to be sorting you out as well, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I totally forgot about you, madams. Sorry. I need to presumably go this way. But never mind them. Mine's need to go and sort the um, sort the water problem out, don't I? Which, which, which I can't sort out in here. Seems to be the long and the short of it. And there's nowhere to go here. Wait, pity aunt. Well, quite. Um, she's going to drown in a minute. I, I completely forgot. I am so sorry. It doesn't um, paint me in a very good light, does it? And I just instantly forget there's someone drowning. What? Oh, for goodness sake. What? Now what? 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 I don't know. J J Joseph seems to be... Joseph seems to be doing a pretty good job on his own, so I'm just gonna worry about he he helping out this this poor woman. Um, by which I mean walking around and picking up the stuff. Seriously, where the hell do I go to sort this woman out? I do not know. Um, should we just like to walk through this door a bit more slowly, please? Thank you. Let's have a shotgun. That's it. I said have a shotgun. Thank you. Just burn you. Why not? Ah. What blew up? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, go away. Don't tell me to turn the difficulty down. Um. Seriously, what blew up? Was one of them carrying some dynamite and I didn't see? I have no idea. Um. It seems to be filling from this water pipe. Now, where is this pipe going? It's going this way, but I can't go that way. Where? Oh, up there, you say? Alright then, let me get a little closer. Everything's get a little closer to each other. I'll just burn you, because you're definitely still alive. Alright, I'm a little bit cross. Right, not just because of this infernal wiring. Right, does somebody want to explain what the hell is going on with this exploding bodice of mine? Where are they? Where are they appearing from? Sebastian, they're above us. I don't, they don't have any dynamite. Okay, you have dynamite right there at the back. That I can... No, no, that I can't deal with. Man alive. For being such an impractical weapon of war, it is a surprisingly practical weapon of war when it's in the video game. Bloody dynamite. It's always the bloody dynamite. Maybe I should uh, fight fire with fire, as it were. By which you mean fight explosions with explosions. Come on! Sebastian, they're above us! Right, there we are. And then I'll just miss completely. Because why wouldn't you want to miss when you're in a lovely situation like this? Right. Who cares? We should deal with them in good time. Where are they shooting from? Watch out! They've got dynamite! I hadn't noticed, and they died to about four times. Okay, there's someone up there. Just have to wait for him to There we are. I think if you can try to sort of delay them long enough, Is then that... they'll die. Just from like the dynamite it? exploding on them. I think there's right, still something nearby. What? More of them on the move. What? How do you, how do you know here, that? What do you? What do you? Oh, oh, giddy. What do you have? Some of the spider sense. What's with the masks? That those are not appreciated. Right. Most of his head seems to have exploded, so that seems like a good bet that he's dead. I'm not convinced you are. You dead? No, I didn't think you were. Let's just finish you off for the match to be sure. That that um that mask is probably going to work as armor, isn't it? 
if I had to guess. Oh, no, not another one. That's it. Just, just get to yarns. Get the hell away from him. Don't get as far away from that as you physically can. There we go. Right, now can we help this poor drowned woman? Yeah, you're telling me she's needed help for about seven minutes. Damn it. That was close. You better come have a look at this. Well, what do you want me to do it? Why don't we just That's shoot a hole in the pipe? I think there's another control panel around here. We're running out of time. What, over there? Yes, I know, but I can't go that way, can I? It's, it's a lot full of that. Alright, just give me this stuff, please. Thank you, because I'm convinced you're going to take it away from me later. Okay, I can go this way, but the door was locked. Okay, it's open now. Okay, presumably that's because they want you to do this at, like, the right time, as it were. I just kick this. And then, and then, and then... Oh, never mind him. You're telling me? Oh man, life is like that insane asylum from Indiana Jones. Oh, this isn't the control panel? Oh no, of course not. Why would this be the control panel? It's only the thing that looks like the bloody control panel, and I haven't got my frickin' bullets in my gun. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Oh, I am so unequivocably dreadful at this game. Okay, right, at least it gives you regular checkpoints, and that I'm very grateful. Let me just quickly take a Healy item, because I desperately need one. Okay, right, let me have another go at this. Where is this darn control panel? Right, break through that. Break through all of it, please. Break. Oh, for goodness sake, I wonder why I get out of bed some mornings. I genuinely do. Right, now, where is this control panel that you want me to deal with? Is it here? Or do you want me to shoot these people first? Like deal with them fully before we continue. Like just burn him and then run the hell away. Well, I'm still alive. I haven't sliced into a million pieces, which is a small improvement. Alright. They, hopefully they can't bend their knees and they won't be able to... Um, so, well, they, 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 never. And I've got no healing items. Get yards. Oh dear. Right, here we are. It's got the same kind of dials, right? Presumably. Yeah, a top one and a bottom one. Set the upper dial to 22 and the lower dial to 5. Okay. Did I do it? Did I do good? I feel like I probably could have climbed up here a little easier. Pretty conveniently placed fire. <laughs> All right. I ain't gonna question Just it. Kidman. Okay. Can we have a moment's peace? Presumably. Right. Let me see. Everything, and this dog needs to be reloaded. Didn't use my crossbow, which I probably should have. Let me head back and see if any of those people are still alive, and if any of them would like to um, receive a large volume of lead implanted into their noggin. Anybody here? Anybody leave any items for me? Can I go in here? No. It would seem not. Um, no, nothing here. There is a thing I want here. I do wish to have this thing, please. I shall bash it first. Excellent. It's automatic shutting doors. So there's one thing in this world I despise. It's automatically shutting doors. No, those are just my footsteps. Nothing to be concerned about. Anything in there? Yes, there's some shells in there, I think. No pistol bullets, my mistake. Anything in there? Nothing that I see, but it doesn't have to be on the safe side. If you go through the frickin' door, thank you very much. I don't know what qualifications you need to be a detective, but I would imagine one of the qualifications is that you know how to operate a door. I don't think there's anything in there. And I don't think there's anything in there either. 
Okay, right. Some shells. Good, good, good. Those were probably left by one of the people that I killed earlier. There we are. We reloaded a full magazine for that. Okay, then. Let me see if I left any items behind before we uh, jump down in search of our friends. And presumably it won't be very long until we do get Joseph back because... Um, Hang on, I'm coming! In a minute, once I've done a bit of filing. Um, because Joseph's uh, health bar is still there. And normally when a follower is going to disappear for a good time, they, uh, they take that away. But uh, we shall see just as soon as I've finished collecting up some stuff. Because after that little adventure, goodness knows I need a five minute break. <laughs> oh, so many bullets I'm leaving behind, it's criminal. Absolutely criminal. Right, I should have this, please. I shall have. I shall have this, please. Thank you. I shall not have any knowledge of what the frickin' buttons are. But never mind. Okay, that's a little better on the uh, healing items, but I won't mind them getting a little stronger. Nothing in there. Was there anything back here? I don't think so. No. Alright then. Assuming there's nothing in here, which there is not. I think we are about ready to catapult our patoot down here. That's not how you examine something, mate. I was sort of joking when I said catapult your patoot. Oh, Where'd they go? Well, they were hardly going to stick around here, were they? This is, you know, not exactly a prime vacation spot. And people think about, hmm, I wonder where I want to hang out tonight. Maybe in the, maybe in the corpse bucket. Maybe in the corpse bucket. So where's the door actually? How the hell did they get out of here? Um, oh, there's still a gap here I can squeeze through. Okay, And a torch. Can I have this, please? For the sake of bashing somebody. Yes, I can. Good. And it seems to produce a bit of light as well. Of which I'm glad. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Would you like to get burned to bits? There we are. Could, could both of you get burned to bits, please? No, seemingly not. These are one of the ones with a noose on his neck as well, which is a bit worrying. Yeah, there's no way he's getting back up from that. At least he better not. Just reload. It only took a series and a half, but I finally remember to reload something. Joseph! Uh, hopefully. And hopefully it's jo Joseph shooting a bad guy, not shooting, well, anything else. Anything in here? Yes. Good. More treasure. Well. Some good, some bad. Some treasure, some, some, some the exact opposite. Alright then. Now that I have been thoroughly expeditious, let me uh, go and find my friend. Oh, oh good luck. Kitty, aunt. I did not see this was here. Alright, let's jump down and get my trousers stained yet again. Because if there's one thing I thought of myself when, when I got out of bed this morning, it was, gee whiz, my trousers aren't stained enough. Okay, but it's... Goop. I feel like it wants me to make more use of the pistol. I guess I'm just not using it very much because the damage isn't very high. But uh, that is kind of my own fault for not upgrading it. Anything? No, no other items? No, just a lot of bodices. Alrighty then. Oh no, you don't want me to go down there, do you? Mm, fine, well, let's see, I've got a hell of a lot of choice. What's with the spooky music? What's with the. Um, you're alive, aren't you? Yep. You're alive. Alright. Yep, it's me. Can't get rid of me. Still hanging a bit. If you'd like to hang about as well by standing still, that'd be absolutely peachy. I do like that the majority of the character model gets out of the way when you're um, when you're trying to burn people and they're trying to chop your feet off when you're um, when you're aiming. I appreciate that. It makes it a little easier to see what's going on. Isn't that exactly what you said in the ambulance? Or am I going crazy for thinking that? Okay, right. And naturally you need me to do everything for you. 
you hadn't come along. Oh, you would have been fine. There was only like two or three of them. Hmm? What? What is it you just put in your pocket? You hiding cigarettes, young man? I shall make you smoke a whole packet if you're not careful. Where the hell are we going? Presumably through one of these two doors, but goodness only knows if I get through it. From the other side. Sebastian, maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. All right. I don't know if you've noticed something, which I have noticed, and I'm slightly ashamed of myself for noticing it, but I'm also slightly confused why it's there. And Let's now go. we wait. What? I thought we were waiting for her. Oh, never mind. Oh, you meant this. We should go. There is just no limits to my stupidity. There really is not. Oh dear. Let's relax. I'm glad Let's you're both all right. It's odd though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He. You mean Altair? Oh good, it's Spider Lady again. I love Spider Lady. She always takes me to the cleanest of places. Yay, a savey place. Another Good. One of those doors. <laughs> yeah, which I'm very grateful for because we need to end the episode. Oh dear, man alive. Well, that was an intense episode. Made some friends, shot some enemies, died a lot. All sorts of good stuff. You get the bloody tray out the way. Right. Where's my... Here we are, my journal. I can read more things. I saw a pair of legs on that bed for a second. I am confused. A wedding invitation. Indeed. Detective and detective. Joyfully request the pleasure of your company. At the wedding celebration. The 17th of September 2005 at half past 12. At the Veranda Hotel in Crimson City. Reception to follow. Oh, that sounds charming and lovely. Could I... Could, could we just get to my appearance in a, in a, in a, in a tizzy tick? Hi. One day I'm going to play a horror game and there's not going to be a mannequin in it, but I don't end the day. <laughs> oh dear, as long as I don't like mannequins in horror games, I just... I don't know. Sebastian. Have you forgotten something? Well, I seem to have forgotten my comb, and I seem to have forgotten to shave. But other than that, I need to wash my shirt, actually. Horrible, horrible stains on there. Mind you, given everything that I've been through, literally and figuratively, maybe it's um, maybe it's not as stain as it ought to be. Missing Fernando Cab Cabrera. I do apologise, I'm probably horribly mispronouncing that. Psychiatric patient escaped from... Beacon Mental Hospital is seriously ill and requires constant supervision. I sounds a bit like Leslie, but it doesn't look like Leslie. It looks much older than Leslie. Um, presumably just somebody in the same proverbial boat. Okay then, right. Let us do uh, some collecting of stuff and some upgrades um, so that we don't have to do it at the beginning of next week. And then we can relax. Let's have a look at the map. Have we done any more of it? A little bit. A little tiny bit. Yes, you can see the bridge there. There we are. So... Uh... No. No, sorry. Sorry, just a random thought that crossed my mind, but no, that wouldn't make any sense. Totally ignore me, I don't know what the hell I am talking about. Right, let's see. Some shells, please. Thank you very much. Um, and some butts, please. Uh, thank you very much. Let's see, what one should we have next? Let's have one from over uh, someplace we haven't had one. Let's have one off the top shelf, why not? I keep doing that. I keep freaking doing that. What do we have? Yay, more goop. That's good, because you didn't manage to get an enormous amount previously. Which is odd, I would have thought we would have gotten more. Because we fought off lots of baddies, but I guess we didn't really fight any sort of special ones. Like the invisible people. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It really, those people really are just like if if the Ood and the Jem'Hadar 
loved each other very much, had some children, and then instead of feeding them vegetables and and that sort of thing when they were growing up to make them big and strong, they just fed them a nice lot large dose of psycho every single day. All right, can't afford that. Uh, I'm not overly concerned about the melee damage. Sprinting time I haven't needed too much, and it seems like most of the chase sequences where it's absolutely desperate for me to run away, they um, they make it infinite, which is Norse. Um, oh, I have upgraded the damage of that. Oh, I thought I hadn't done that. Yeah. It just goes to show how intelligent and how much attention I'm paying to things. Could do that. Um, or maybe some stock. What else could we afford? Shotgun bullets. Mm, I feel like pistol bullets are really the one to go for. Anything else I can afford? An extra syringe. A few more matches. The matches are very cheap. Yeah, let's upgrade the matches a couple of times because goodness knows I'm sick of uh, running out of those. Um, an extra grenade. Why not? It's cheap. Just in case we do find any more. It doesn't hurt, does it? Should probably save my money for bigger and better things, but I never was very good at investments. So, um, so I suppose we should leave it there. I don't think we've actually reached the end of chapter five, which is a little bit of a shame because I rather liked how we were sort of keeping the chapters lined up with the game. But um, you can't have everything. Oh, we've been going exactly an hour. Isn't that lovely? Um, right then. <sighs> Like I was saying at the beginning when this game just throws random ass things at you. It's a very intense game, but I enjoy it very much. Um, I always have a good time playing this game. It's always uh, it's always lots of fun, even when I die a lot. But um, thus far it hasn't, with the exception of that dynamite stuff, which admittedly was mostly my fault for not realising they were carrying dynamite. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's not been too tough yet, but uh, you just wait till the boss fights come around, and then everything's going to go pear-shaped. Right then, um, I think that's enough for this week. I hope you've been enjoying the series thus far. Um, more next week as ever. Thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen. We'll look after each other, and good night.